So in the last video, we saw how to actually get the information out of the admin model. Now let's see how to actually display it. So let's go to the about.ejs. And since ejs is essentially a JavaScript template, let's see how we can do a for each. Copy the model. Uh, we're actually not going to use this. We're going to use for res in results because if you remember we are passing its data for resin data let's just simply output whatever the data happens to be so let's reload the page oh, we have to uh, restart the server unexpected identifier why is that? Well, let's learn. In layout, we are executing the title. Let's get this to be very simple. Let's just get the data out. So let's do percent equals data. Let's just see what it spits out, if anything. Restart the server. So we do have the object. How do we do a for loop? documentation this documentation is not very good okay let's use this kind of a for loop then for data dot length I plus plus let's just output whatever data I happens to be so in this case that's an object as well let's just make sure actually getting this here, save. Okay, we are getting that. Um, we know the form of the data because we have this, let me load the JavaScript model, admin model. We know it's going to have a first name, a last name, an email, a Twitter, a Facebook, and add it on. So let's get out the first name. Shimon, there it is. Awesome. So we can throw this in a div. Create an unordered list. And then for each element, let's say we create a list with the first name, space, last name. Let's just tab that out a little bit more. Put a line break. pop out the email address, put a line break, let's put a link to the Twitter, http colon slash slash www.twitter.com slash. Now since that's going to be a variable, we can just pop the EJS in here. I think we have to use single quotes perhaps. Hmm. Well, this video is about to end, so we will figure that out in the next video.